Hello there, and welcome to Crisis 3. As you know, uh, I've played the uh, Crisis 3 demo and I loved it. I actually thought it was absolutely fantastic, better than the first one. Not that much different, but it's just a little smoother than the first one. Uh, I recently finished the single player and the single player I didn't think was as interesting as the first one but that's just per personal preference it was a really really good single player i just uh didn't like that it was more like a jungle kind of thing than a city thing because it was, everything was so overgrown but like i said that's just really personal preference it's a really 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 interesting and cool single player and uh, so the multiplayer is just as awesome as i mentioned before i'm not a science fiction anything fan but I don't mind if it's uh, fiction uh, as long as it plays like on the, on the world. I'm not a fan of uh, you know playing games on planets and uh, fantasy worlds and stuff like that. It's never really been my, my thing. I guess I'm just not nerdy enough like that. But uh, this is a really, really, uh, really, really, really action-packed multiplayer. Uh, you, there's a lot you have to remember uh, when it comes to controls, but once you know how this game works and how you have to work your suit, uh, you can do really well in, the, in this game. And the one thing that a lot of people talk about is like it's uh, hard to aim in this game, and yes, uh, that's true. It's a little harder to, to aim than in games like Halo and Call of Duty, but uh, if you've played Battlefield, uh, you shouldn't have any problems playing this. It's, it's very similar to Battlefield, the, the gun handling, that's the, you know, with the uh, recoil and just the way the guns, the power of the guns. Some of them are less powerful, but they have a much faster, they have more bullets and they're faster. And the cool thing about this multiplayer is that you can uh, do a lot of things. Uh, you're not just running around with your weapon uh, endlessly. You can actually find really cool alien weapons on every map. And they're, e they're each different. There's a, a, a very cool sniper and there's a mortar and uh, there's a gun that uh, you see in this footage that I use. I forgot what it's called. Pinch rifle, I think. Um, that is really, really powerful, and it's just fun that you know, for you know, a minute or two, you could just play around with some kind of powerful weapon. It's almost like a kill streak, and that brings me to the other thing. What's really cool in this game is like the kill streaks here are not overpowered, and they're not really like I don't know. You can call them kill streaks, but what how it happens is how it works is that uh, whenever you kill someone you have to go pick up their dog tags. And the dog tag count is what gives you the kill streaks. So if you, uh, you know, it's kind of cool because it kind of prevents people from uh, hiding and, and um, camping and trying to just shoot out of a, a corner because you have to actually get out there and get the uh, tags if you do want to have kill streaks. I mean, if you don't care about kill streaks, yes, you can hide in the corner, but Actually, you will show up on the minimap unless you have a silencer. And people also can hear your footsteps, they can hear your noise. So you eventually, you, you can't sit in the corner too long in this game. There's, it's This game is all about movements. And um, that's where I'm coming uh, to talk about the, uh, the, the suit modules. There's several modules, or many, many modules that you can uh, apply to your suit, which is, you know, speed, uh, maneuverability, um, uh, what is it? Ghosting, you know, where you can you can actually make your footsteps silent. Um, you can make it so that you, whenever you get hit, your you, uh, armor is automatically turned on. I think that's what I'm running here. I haven't really unlocked everything yet, and I'm still playing around with lots of things. Um, there's a lot of things I am familiar with from the first game, but there's also a lot of new things. And um, I'm also still playing around with weapons. Um, I think this one is the feline, and that's the first weapon that uh, was unlocked. And it's an okay weapon, but um, the FY11, I believe, <coughs> or the FY, sorry, 7 um, are better, like stronger weapons. But like in a battlefield, every, you know, there's a weapon that's maybe stronger, but uh, it, it loads slower, uh, it shoots slower. 
there's weapons that are uh, weaker, but they're incredibly fast. So it, it's really preference, and you can't really say there is a, 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 a this is the best weapon and this is not you know this is the worst weapon. It's it really what you like to play, and what you see here is like the stomping, which is really really fun. Um, that you can actually jump down from uh, from a height from any height uh, onto a. Uh, a ton of enemies and you can kill like everyone that's like within uh, your stump reach and get a multi-kill which is really awesome so people will usually do that on flags it's very common but you can basically do it anywhere and then you can also get up on the ship if you can manage to jump on the ship you can actually be inside the ship and shoot down but the kill streak like i said are not overpowered and that makes makes this, this game so enjoyable for everyone even the ones that don't do so well so I may post more crisis videos or not, I don't know yet, but I hope you enjoyed this one and have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.